This week, a nation stands in disgrace. A mere fortnight after being crowned the 10th greatest shithole country of the world, according to Donald Trump, Australia has sunk to a new low by cheating on the cricket field by means of ball tampering. Joining us today is our local ball tamperer and ball tampering expert, Jimmy DeSean. Welcome. Yeah, good day, good day. Uh, I've been tampering with balls since I was six. Any uh, balls in particular, Jimmy? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not fussy at all. Uh, tennis balls, golf balls, cricket balls, uh, mast balls, you know, anything. Small balls, big balls. I don't mind. Uh, they don't even have to be my balls. I'm happy to tamper with absolutely anybody's balls. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tamper with your balls if you like. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for that, Jimmy. Uh, let's turn our attention to the Australian cricket team, shall yeah, we? Well, it's an absolute disgrace, isn't it? Um, you know, not so much that they cheated. Uh, hats off to them for trying. But, gee, you know, they cheated so badly. I mean, it was just disgraceful. Uh, the ball wasn't even taken off the field. I mean, it was, it was horrific. Uh, personally, I say if you're going to cheat, uh, it's an Australian rule, you do it properly. You know, you, you, you lance Armstrong it. So you're saying they didn't cheat properly, Jimmy. So uh, yeah. do, you, do you have any advice for them to help them uh, improve? Well, their... you know, they've got to tool up, mate. They've got to get the right tools for the game. You know, you can't just put a piece of uh, sticky tape in your pocket, some Velcro, you know, a little bit of sweet. No, that's just not going to, that's just going to get you into trouble. You know, if you want the right. ball to really start moving, you've got to get the right tools, which is what I like to use. I use this uh, first up. Look at that. That's got a nice sharp edge. That's a bottle opener. But hey, that can do many things, you know. Then you've got this as well. That's a... It's a Stanley knife, you can get that anywhere. And that comes in and out, which means it's not harmful when it's in your pocket. My personal favourite is actually a little shark. Small little baby shark, you know, concealer. And then during the water break, just pop him in the cup, let him swim around. You know, that's perfect. Uh, but better than that, this. Look at that. That's a beauty, that. That's a little cheese grater. Now you rub that up against that cherry, and I'm telling you, that's going to be like Caitlyn Jenner. Going to be swinging it both ways. Uh, now hang, hang on a moment here, uh, Jimmy. Are you suggesting that for the next test, the Australian cricket team walks out onto the field with a cheese grater in their pants? Well, no, mate. <laughs> That's going to chafe you all day, you know. You want something a little more discreet, so uh, maybe something like this. Now, that's, a, that's an angle grinder. You can get that at any shop. Um, and that's perfect, because look at that shape, you see. You've got your scrotum over there. You've got your anus there. That's going to fit perfectly. Um, unless you go for a colonoscopy, they might find it. But otherwise, that's safe as houses. You just slip the ball behind your back, down your pants, and you sit on a hard surface, and then you just, you grind it, you really just, you could do anything, right? you just move your, your butt cheek, like that. And then that's going to do the work for you. Just if you are a kid, beware. Don't go near electrical sockets or lightning, because that's a conductor.